Let's all stand for the coming of the bride. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mom and, mom and I. We are gathered here today together to witness and celebrate the marriage of Levi and Sarah. We come together not to mark the start of a of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists. This ceremony is a public affirmation of that bond, and as their dearest family and friends, it is our honor and privilege to stand witness to this event. This day is made possible not only because of your love for each other, but through the grace and support of God, Christ, your family, and your friends. It is our hope that your fulfillment and joy in each other will increase with each passing year. Marriage is a commitment in life where two people can find and bring out the very best in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal a physical, emotional joining that has the promise of a lifetime. Please pray with me. God, our Heavenly Father, You are a good Father. And we're so thankful this day that we get to come here and celebrate with Sarah and Levi. We're so grateful and thankful that You brought them together. And God, it is my prayer that after today, they'll just continue to grow in their love for one another, in their love for you and to do your will, and pray that you just increase them in spirit and in their relationship with one another, and that together their marriage will bring honor and glory to you. In Christ's name, amen. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing love through the seasons of life. In the Apostle Paul's writing to the Corinthians, he writes this, and paraphrasing says it, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes in all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Amen. Love and marriage are not a destination, but rather a journey. A journey where you are always growing stronger together and closer to each other. And it is God who is the one who teaches us how to truly love. And each day, Sarah and Levi, I encourage you both to pray that God will show you how to love more, to love stronger, and to love better. The cords 
The cord of three strands symbolizes the joining of one man, one woman, and God into a marriage relationship. Marriage takes three. You, your soon-to-be spouse, and God. It was God who taught us to love. And by keeping Him at the center of your marriage, His love will continue to bind you together as one throughout your marriage. At this time, Levi and Sarah have chosen as their unity symbol with God and with each other by braiding the three cord strands here while I read the following scripture from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. It says, Two are better than one, because there is a good reward for their labor together. For if they fall, then one will help up his commitment companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, then they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm by himself? And if someone might overpower another by himself, two together can withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken." Good job. (laughs) Sarah, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Levi in marriage? And if so, answer, I do. I do. And Levi, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Sarah in marriage? And if so, answer, I do. I do. Levi, do you have a ring to represent your commitment to Sarah? And Levi, if you would, take Sarah's hand and place this ring on her finger and repeat after me. I, Levi, take thee, Sarah, to be my wife. I, thee, Levi, take thee, Sarah, to be my wife. (laughs) (laughs) To have and to hold in sickness and in health. To have and to hold in sickness and in health. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poorer. <laughs> in joy and sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. And I promise my love to you. And I promise my love to you. And with this ring. And with this ring. I take you as my wife. I take, I take you as, as my wife. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Great. Sarah, do you have a ring to represent your commitment to Levi? And if you would put the ring on his finger, repeat after me. I, Sarah, take thee, Levi, to be my husband. I, Sarah, take thee, Levi, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For for richer or for poor. For richer and for poor. In joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. And I promise my love to you. And I promise my love to you. And with this ring. And with this ring. I take you as my husband. I take you as my husband. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Amen. Let's pray together again. God, again, we give thanks to you for this day of celebration. And Lord, I pray that as Levi and Sarah have just read their vows and committed their self to each other, that they will model the example of marriage that you have laid out for us in your holy scripture of Christ in the church. And help us to always look to Christ and how he loves us. And I pray that Sarah and Levi will both take that example and and strive to be more like their Savior and their love for each other. And that they grow closer each and every day. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. 
I wish you both great happiness in your marriage and encourage you to be true to these vows that you've made to each other. May you both truly love and support one another and possess good virtues and make Christ the foundation of your marriage and of your home. For as much as Levi and Sarah have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have given and pledged their love each to the other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring before God and these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And may God bless you both richly with an abundant and joyful marriage. Now, Levi, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Levi Neal. Yeah.